Hey guys, what is up? It's Perks on here today, and in this video, I will be reviewing my brand new uh, CNC40-8. Um, this is one of the special pro or my special project that I've been working on, but I figured that I'd make the um, a separate review on this for the people that just want to see a review on this. Um, but I am going to be using some of the same footage, so just to spoil if you hear something about the special project, this was the special project that I've been working on. I do have a couple of hauls up there. Um, yeah, I'll link maybe just a few up there throughout the whole video. Uh, there was four, I believe. So, um, yeah, sit back and relax, and I really hope you enjoy this. Okay, I know what you guys are thinking, and you guys are probably thinking, Dude, you already have a CN train. Well, that's not really wrong. But, you know, this one's not very realistic. And it doesn't really look good, and there's some stuff I want to change on it. So I was originally just going to keep this design and, you know, kind of do the upgrades I wanted. But then I got a bit too carried away and ended up with this. Also, just for, you know, just for the records, this is an SD40 and that is a C40-8. So, you know, big difference. But, um, yeah, let's take a closer look at this thing. But before we do that, I will have a picture popping up on screen of a real CNC40-8 right now. So now can you kind of see the resemblance? Maybe, sort of, kind of, I don't know. Anyways, um, I do have it on track right now also just to make it easier to review. And there are some things I wish I could have done better. But it is what it is, and I think this thing looks fantastic. So now I guess we're going to do the review part of this. Um, I'm not going to call it 100% complete, because there is some update upgrades and updates I want to do. But um, first thing you notice is the light down here, and then this railing that I made. I do wish I had these longer, or I might just get four long bars to kind of make it look a bit more connected. Um, the other side's basically the same, if not the exact same, but... um. Another thing is they don't have red skeleton arm here, arms, so um, I had to use these um, dark orange ones. But then you got the red railings going up to the cab, which I think I got the cab kind of down packed with the um, windows on the sides here by the doors, and then the windows in the front with the lights in the center. Also up here I did use these kind of ingot bars just to kind of give it a bit of a slope because there is really no good piece for that besides the uh, Kind of these ones like the slope grills now some of this model might be hard to see because of the lighting but that's we're just gonna have to live with it um i could turn my flash on but it doesn't really look good that way especially because you get the shadow also i do want to get some printed pieces or just some more of the stickers that i got for this guy but as you can see they're kind of peeling i did move them a couple times so that might be the problem but the colors don't really match up 100 percent that's okay i might get them but i'm um, basically i'm just missing kind of a cn up there I wanted to get that printed on one of those slopes. Also, I want to get a number tile here. And uh, I did base this mostly off of one specific engine number, so I would like to get that number just to kind of keep, like, I guess the, I don't know what you'd call it. Just kind of, I guess, really nostalgia. But um, anyways, you got the windows kind of sunken in. Um, it's okay. The sun guards, which don't look too, too bad. And they can easily remove the roof along with the windows, which gives you better access to the inside. Um, might be kind of hard to see, but on this side you got just a fire extinguisher and then a control panel. And if we spin this around, then you can see some more of the controls inside of there. Uh, kinda. Yeah, there's also one of those kind of train dashboard pieces up in there. Uh, most of you guys have probably seen this before, but um, I'm just going to spin this thing around so we can continue on the uh, review. Ooh, it's kind of hanging off. That could be a bit dangerous. And um, also, I did build this on Digital Designer and then uh, ordered the parts for it. I would not ever recommend doing that. It was a very horrible build. I had, like, when I was building the CN section of it, uh, this uh, little logo, um, it was really floating in midair. Like, I had pieces literally floating in midair. Um, I'm just gonna kind of move this back. My studio's falling apart on me. 
Um, but anyways, I guess we could just keep doing a review. Because that's what you guys came here for, and to see the uh, reveal. Because I did a pretty good job of finding this, but if you didn't see, in the Palace Cinema Hall, which I'll link up there as well, um, there was kind of a little sneak peek of the back of this. But um, most of you guys probably just thought that it was my old Z-Entry, and so I think, I think um, it was uh, kind of kept a secret. Back here you can also see they have the little windows there with the railings, which come down a level and then continue all the way to the back. Um, the other side is basically the same except for down here, which I'll show you guys later. But um, then you can see you have the, like the smooth roof and then it drops down like the real one. Now this is equipped with power functions. I didn't design it to be um, with the power functions 1.0 on Digital Designer. I meant it for the new ones, but they don't have them on LEGO Shop yet, and when they do, I probably will get them for this. But um, you can see there is the IR receiver in there. I did some modifications to this already. Um, it's a very flimsy build overall. Um, it really, really comes apart a lot, and that's something that you can't really tell when you're building on Digital Designer, because you know, it can't fall apart on you in there, but you can also see there is that little bit there sticking out. I don't really care about it. It's not too bad. No one really notices. But it's just something I wish I could change. Now for the intersection, it's very, very realistic. Um, I think at least I'm gonna try and move you guys under. You know how it kind of slopes down there, and then you got the tanks there. I think I did pretty good there, but um, that was probably very, very shaky. Now I can't get it to stay. There we go. But um, yeah, you can see I did a build um, in a snot technique on the side. CN logo. It's kind of nice how it got rounded. I just wish I could have done something different for the end. But oh well. And I am using lots of 1 by whatever tiles just because it kind of looks more realistic that way. Uh, you got some grills down here. Um, kind of like in the real locomotive. Uh, not three axle trucks, which I wish I could have done. That would have looked so much better. But there's no way to get them powered, so I guess I just stuck with this. I was also trying to make an ET44 AC for any of you trained fans that actually care about it. But again, same problem, and that just needs to have three axles in my opinion. But I guess it just won't be powered. Um, but I still really, really want one of those. Like on the front, I do have these white railings coming up from the ladder on the trucks. Um, and then that'll give you access to the back of the locomotive. You got some grills going up to this awesome radiator section here. I really, really love it. It's easy to remove. That's how I turn on the battery box. But as you can see, I did use a bunch of um, two by four wedge plates and stacked them all up, which gives it that really nice uh, kind of grill effect. I really like that. And then at the back, it's red, like on the real locomotive. And when I put it on, doesn't that just look so realistic? I'm so proud of myself. Sorry, sorry, I'm getting off topic here. You also got some more coupler um, or connection stuff. And uh, here's one spot where it's not 100% complete. These are open studs here. I need to get jumpers for these lights to be centered again. Or I could just figure out maybe a way to, um, uh, oh, my dad's cutting grass, that's a bit. Um, or I could get, um, yeah, just to get them centered or find a way to actually power them. But um, yeah, that's really actually almost it. Again, this side is basically identical, uh, except for this underbelly, or not, under undercarriage is what I meant. Um, it just slopes down there, and otherwise it's bricks. Um, and uh, yeah, one thing that I did forget to point out is the white stripe that is also built, or brick built, like most of the stuff. There's no stickers on here, no nothing like that. And um, yeah, I really think that just about covers the engine, at least all the parts that people would care about. There's some little stuff that I didn't point out, but I don't think you guys would care too much. So, yeah, it might not be what you guys were expecting as a special project. You guys were probably expecting something else, but... <sighs> yeah, that's basically it. I really, really do love this model. It really is amazing, but when I compare it to this one, I'm like, was it really worth all that money I spent on it? Yeah, it totally was. So much more realistic. Anyways, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm a huge train fan. And um, yeah, this is basically the review of this special project. So I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I really, really hope you guys like this project. Um, I will 
yeah, I don't know. I might do an actual just separate review on this. But for now, that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And, um, yeah. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Wait! Before you click off the video, I will have footage of this thing going around the tracks. So, yeah, that was some music. So, don't leave yet. Unless you don't want to see this thing going around the tracks to believe me that it's actually part of. But, um, yeah. If not, then I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Now, I'm actually signing off because there will be footage with music and not me going on and on and on about this. So, yeah. Bye. Thanks.